All right, folks, Mr. B here on his low roller trip. Uh, I did get upgraded here at the plaza to an actual mini suite uh, for just a small little tip. So uh, let's start the tour. Again, we have the claustrophobic bathroom. If you are claustrophobic, do not close the door because this is a very small bathroom. As you can see, the standard toilet, towels, extra roll of toilet paper, old purple and purple exactly where it's supposed to be your standard tub and shower combination nothing to write home about although the shower head is high enough where I don't have to bend down to take a shower so I'm happy about that the fa plastic marble your standard shower curtain that you have to close by hand no fancy remote controls to close it for you and again like I said a very small bathroom however the room itself you step out as you can see, plenty more amenities, lots of towels, mirror on the side, and the big mirror right there in front of you. And as you can see, two sinks. Not bad, not bad at all. All my stuff, of course, lined up, as I always do. Two sinks, the garbage can, your standard carpet, nothing special, but uh, nice enough. And again, lots of mirrors. We move around. And then we come into like another area, which is actually my little kitchenette, I guess you would call it. I have a sink. And I have a refrigerator. Uh, as you can see, this place is definitely showing its age. I mean, things are beat up and a little bit worn here. But, you know, for the 30 bucks I think I paid, plus the $20 I tipped her for upgrading me, I got a suite on a Saturday night. For 50 bucks come over here and you see one of my windows and I actually have a view and we'll try to so as you can see my view really is not bad um, I have two windows and I'll show you the other one here in just a moment I can see a good part of the strip pretty much the entire thing if you really think about it okay so we'll pan back and I know that's probably going to be blurry as I pan in and out but so we come out of this little area and as you can see it has its own little heating unit and air conditioning unit and come out to the other room which is the bedroom portion and again another another unit and again another window with that view so two very big windows which are kind of impressive to me I walk around and I have my little lamp and my nightstand and I actually have a walk-in closet. Can you believe this folks? We're going to walk in. Plenty of hangers, iron, although it's funny there's an iron but there's no ironing board. A couple of shelves and hangers and stuff and then I have my clothes for tomorrow. I'm only staying here for one night so I only have tomorrow's change of clothes for the football games. But it is a walk-in closet, which is pretty impressive. We come on out, and then you can see I have a king-size bed. Uh, it wasn't the most comfortable one I've ever slept on. It's not a pillow top, but it is, uh, it'll do, and it is plenty big, so that's great. And then I have the armoire as we come around. My armoire. And when you open it, it has this bodacious an outstanding New Horizons television. That's a company I never even heard of. Uh, it's definitely like a 19 inch and the reception sucks. But I'm watching the football game nonetheless, which is getting to be a good football game. Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, 37-34. Okay, and then we move down and as you can see, I have plenty of dressers in the armor for things. Over here, I have another nightstand and a lamp and my phone and as you can see I have a couch sofa love seat whatever you want to call it it's only a two seater so I guess it's kind of a love seat huh but it has its own little table and then another table next to it with a lamp and then we go up we have the artwork lovely lovely artwork as you can see there are flowers of some sort I have another garbage can by the door and then as you come around I have this interesting glass I don't even know what you want to call it it's kind of like a a half moon no it's not even a half moon it's like a mirror 
thing of some sort, but it's actually kind of neat. And then as you can see, I have another table to uh, sit and have breakfast in the morning if I want to, and a couple of chairs. And then we move over and we're on the other side of the bar and I actually have some bar stools and the bar itself. And then let me see here. We should have a light switch for this other light. I do have the uh, suspended light of or I don't see where the switch is for it, but I'm sure it's in here somewhere. And then we pan back and we'll just kind of pan back and give you an overall view of the size of the room. It is quite large. I mean, I have plenty of space to move around in here. So uh, I really can't complain for what I paid on a Saturday night. I think you know, like I said, I think I paid $32 and then add the 20 I tipped her for upgrading me, 52 bucks on a Saturday night downtown. Great views, as you can see again. Wonderful views through my two windows and a very big and spacious room. Again, it does show its age a little bit, but again, for the price on a Saturday night, I'm not complaining at all. I have a great view out two different windows. Uh, and it's a very nice and very spacious room for the price. So if you guys get a chance to come and stay at the plaza, ask for one of these upgrades because uh, it's definitely worth the extra couple of bucks you might have to uh, either tip or even pay. So I think she said it would have been 25 bucks if she'd have just charged me for it. So that's not too bad either. Okay, uh, I will give you guys a tour of the dungeon coming up next. Uh, thanks for watching this one. It's Mr. V coming to you from downtown Las Vegas. Wishing you guys were here with me. Uh, enjoy the video. Enjoy the trip report and the other videos and pictures that are coming. Take care, guys. Have a great day.